Hello everyone, so for the past couple of weeks I've been working on a 2D render, so let's talk a bit about that. So now we have all of these sprite generator nodes, let's try to create one, let's say image. At first it's empty, we have to create some image, so let's just drop something, like Mario. And if we connect it, now we have sprite of Mario. As you can see, it's rendered on top of this 3D render. So we can change it height, width, and whatever. Uh, this is an actual image, so we can modify it. We can apply some image modifiers, let's say edges. Also, we can use its alpha channel to apply its mask. And then we can render that one. And now we have Mario edges, with which, which we can also modify. Move it higher. 3D renderer works as usual. So let's create some GLTF. Say duck. And let's scatter it. Something like um, grid scatter. To use scale, it's too big. Let's just apply some float that is higher than available ones. And now we have instance rendered these ducks. Um, we can also use masks, so let's use the same one. And now we have Mario silhouette made out of this instance render ducks. We can like make less of them, or we can make plenty of them. Yeah, I think this is too high, <laughs> but okay, let's just make something like this. Also, we have a text renderer. something like Mario, we can change its color, let's put to red, uh, outline width or the thickness, this is too high. We have all the system fonts available and we also have a lot of shapes, something like um, let's say quad. It has a lot of options, so it's a dashed. Uh, it has a dashed outline. Uh, we can change its thickness. We can make it solid. It has by default a gradient, so we can change its color. But we can also make it to be solid. Also, it has gradient vertical, gradient horizontal. It can be a solid. Also, we have a filling options. So fill type dance, dance two, dance three, Vert horizontal lines, vertical lines, we have a uh, cross, diagonal left, diagonal right, we also can change these colors, something like red. All of these can, uh, we can change visibility to all of these sprites. Yeah. So basically now we can combine 2D and 3D render. That's it for today, thank you guys very much for watching and see you next time.